Ali writes, hey, Collider Crew, how's everything going? Thank you for your hard work and making our lives much better. <laughs> My question is, what are some of your favorite Hans Zimmer scores? I love the work he did on Man, on, Man of Steel, the Dark Knight trilogy, 12 Years a Slave, and Inception. He's my favorite composer alongside John Williams. Thanks and keep up the amazing work. This might be a little bit of because you did it lately-ism, but I, th I thought the score to Man of Steel was insanely good. When, yeah. when you watch, it, it's... What you can judge a score by two different types of criteria. One criteria is just sitting in your car and popping in the CD and listening to it. And it's the Man of Steel soundtrack is very good that way. But another way you measure it is how does it enhance the scenes in which the music is playing? And when you watch Man of Steel, a movie which I loved, when you watch Man of Steel, the music adds it, it, it is such a dimension to the image on the screen, it plays so perfectly into it. I, for, yeah, so for right now, I got to say the score to Man of Steel for me personally. I, I just, I, I, it's magic to me. Anyway, Mark, what about you? Favorite Howard Zimmer? When, he's one of these composers that can have uh, something that will enhance an already good film, like with, with what he did with Crimson Tide is a movie mm. that I caught on TNT the other day, and I'm like, yeah, this score is great. And then also, it can, it can kind of apologize for some silly scenes in movies, like what he did with The Rock, when they have that useless car chase of the streets of San Francisco. <laughs> but you're having so much fun because that score gets you so pumped up. So, <laughs> And I love The Rock, by the way, but come on, that car chase did not belong in there. Hans Zimmer saw it didn't belong in there and was like, you know what? Watch this. And he threw some composer <laughs> magic in there. <clears throat> Snap. <clears throat> I'm going to say The Dark Knight. Uh, I love that score. And I love how he, especially the Joker's theme, the way he just like put together all different kinds of sound effects of like needles dropping and metal scraping. And mm. I mean, he really, really worked his magic. I also love Man of Steel too. He's a, an interstellar. I mean, every, almost every theme. And that Inception he's on, too, right? Yeah. yeah. All, all of his scores are great. He really puts a puts a, a lot. By the down. way, you spoke too soon about resisting the nerd flu. I think I can hear. I can hear sinking in its claws. Somebody, somebody be like, "Yo, fat man, drink some water." I have to, all right. <laughs> He's just getting emotional. You know, the Dark Knight yeah. score does different things. It, it got me all people. teared up. I would say Amazing Spider-Man Two, not as great. I was like, a, if I was gonna stack, you know, I gotta. Hey, kids, I gotta always rip on it. Give me a shot. So he's gonna be me ripping on it. Uh, it'd be like of his entire au revoir. It'd be like at the bottom. Somewhere in the bottom, like, hey, I just started out, and then I decided to do this. Like, along came a spider, scrimpy, scrimpy. Nope. <laughs> no. 